Now on UMass Sports Insider, the newest class of UMass football recruits has been announced and their new head coach will introduce us to the group he hopes will continue to build a foundation for FBS success. And we'll look back at a day of enshrinement for some all-time UMass greats, including a return to Amherst for a popular former basketball standout. Plus, we're turning our attention towards the spring and previewing the upcoming season on the lacrosse field for one of the top squads in the region. Pouring it into the back of the net, UMass Sports Insider, let's start it up. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. Brought to you by Alden Credit Union, Mafre Commerce Insurance, and Coca-Cola. It's been a topsy-turvy ride through Atlantic 10 play thus far for UMass men's hoops. And while the Minutemen are still clawing and scratching for one of the top seeds in next month's conference tourney, the squad has battled its way into a strong position for a potential NCAA tournament berth. Now with some critical games on the horizon, UMass hopes to continue to build on its postseason resume. Hi there, I'm Josh Maurer. Also coming up later, we'll go behind the scenes with a men's basketball practice and we'll get some Valentine's Day tales from some UMass athletes. But we start with football signing day. Coach Mark Whipple and his staff had less than one month after coming aboard to put together the new class. To tell you about the newest Minutemen, let's send it over to Coach Whipple. We got a couple quarterbacks that can throw it. Um, you know, we had a bunch of receivers here, so it really wasn't maybe where we were looking, but I think we've, we've gotten a couple tight ends. One of them we consider a Y, an edge guy out of Kansas, John Denton, and then another guy that Gene Sifrin can, can, is a very, very talented guy. That was kind of a focus offensively, you know, that um, with those two guys and maybe get to some two tight ends and three tight ends and get to more of the pro style, which I know, and that's kind of what we want to do. We got a linebacker out of Florida that I think can, can be an edge guy that uh, had 23 sacks, Ezekiel Evans out of Palm Beach. And we got a couple guys in the back end, uh, Jarrell Adu from, from Lemonster and then uh, Churn Singh out of Pittsburgh that could be a corner safety type. I think one's more of a safety and the other's a corner, so the back end. And we got four guys up front. You know, Blake is a guy that's played, played in Conference USA. and. Is a mature guy that's a third-year player, redshirt his freshman year, has played and won games and you know completed about 75% of his passes. Also a little more athletic at 6'6", 230 than you think he had a 51-yard touchdown run. Ross is a winner down in, in West Virginia, has won a lot of games, was player of the year, uh, three-sport athlete, just kind of gets it, you know, and, and uh, ran for about 4,000, 5,000 yards in his career with, I think he had 35 rushing touchdowns last year. So. He's a guy, and then Randall West is a guy that we really think has got a huge upside that uh, we're excited to get him going also. Thank you, Coach. Coming up in our next show, we'll take you behind the scenes with the football coaching staff on signing day and show you how the whole thing unfolded from the inside. Well, late last month, UMass Athletics inducted its newest Hall of Fame class, a great group of six that included a former basketball great and current Auburn head coach who took time out of his busy schedule to come back to campus. Here's a look back. It's always great to be back home. And I told myself I wasn't going to get emotional. But this place is so special to me and, sp and so special to my family in so many different ways. The culmination of my experience that I received at UMass helped me to shape the person I am. They put me on my life's path and they helped me find my way to a happy, happy life. It was all about, you know, keeping everybody together, everybody on the same page, you know, motivating guys, you know, every day. And, you know, I'm just a passionate guy about that stuff. And, you know, UMass football is in my, in my blood. When your alma mater you're, you're, honors you in this way, um, it's truly humbling. Um, you'll always be a part of the UMass family. During my time here at UMass, I developed the skill set to become an educator, coach, and professional athlete. UMass not only provided me with a high quality education, it opened the doors to the rest of my life. Now, we talked about Elaine Sortino earlier. A lot of people don't know, but she also helped with the women's basketball team when she first came on campus. She was tough, she was a competitor, but she was also fair and compassionate. It still hasn't set in, actually. I'm just sort of 
dumbfounded by the whole thing and this spectacle of all these these great athletes, former uh, fellow inductees. It's just been uh, a whirlwind. So those values that I've, uh, that I got from Coach Garber have really made a difference in, in, in my life. Doug talked about the time of growing up and my six years here at UMass was probably the, the most fundamental part of me growing up as, a, as an individual. I'm proud to be a part of the, the UMass family, proud to be a part of the UMass basketball family. I'm honored and humbled again um, to be a part of the, the Trigger Burt Hall of Fame. Um, and again, congratulations to all the, all the other fellow inductees. Go UMass! In addition to that great group of six who were at the banquet, the late great Elaine Sortino was also included in this year's Hall of Fame class, and she became the first UMass Athletics Hall of Famer to have the mandatory 10-year waiting period lifted. On to men's hoops now, where the men and men are busy making preparations each day to try to finish at or near the top of the conference standings. So recently, we asked Coach Kellogg to wear a microphone for us during a practice to see what his team is doing and working on as the end of the conference season approaches. Let's hand it over to Coach Kellogg for some Coke Chalk Talk. Wow, I can't believe the season is winding down. It's been a, a long road, but our, our guys are fresh, ready to go. And this time of year, I think one of the main things we need to be working on is being physical and tough with the basketball. So today you'll see us working on getting open on the wing with pressure, with the defense trying to not let you catch. And then I have our guys driving into what we call padded layups, where they like to drive in there, take contact, and finish through the padded layups. Go, go, good, good. Walk them up, walk them up. Get open, get open. Good, good, beat them, beat them. Good, 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 good. Next guy, go Sam, go Sam. Walk him up, walk him up. Get open, get open. Good, beat him, beat him, stretch it. Good, good, finish, finish. Good, 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 go Jabari, go. Good, there you go. Come on DG, come on DG. Good, good, good. Good DG, good. Move your feet, skip, skip. Get there, get there, get there, good. Move your feet, move your feet, good. Good, finish, finish, up, up. Good, good, come on Tyler, come on Tyler. Good, 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 skip, skip. Good, get there, move your feet, move your feet, call for it. Good, drive it middle, drive it. Good, good, come on Zach, come on Zach, here we go, here we go. Thank you so much for doing that coach. The Minutemen have some gigantic home games coming up here at the Mullen Center at the end of the conference schedule against VCU and St. Louis. Well, it's time for us to take our first break, but don't go far away. When we come back, we're flipping the calendar to the spring. And though it might not feel like it, the lacrosse season is getting underway. And the always nationally competitive Minutemen are hoping to once again make a run at the postseason. We'll preview the squad for you right on the other side. Yeah, we're just waiting on the appraisal to come in. Just give me a minute, man. Yeah, we'll get that back in a week or so. Have a great day. Alden Credit Union is the official credit union of UMass Athletics. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries. <laughs> How's the orange juice, Adam? Refreshing. It's Minuteman made. Alden Credit Union is the official credit union of UMass Athletics. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries. that great old saying about strangers? They're just friends you haven't met yet. Among life's millions of moments, some of the very best are made by Mohegan Sun. When it's your time to shine, come see us. Book your wedding with award-winning UMass Catering. We can host, design, and plan your big event from full breakfast, lunches, to elegant wedding receptions and dinners. UMass Catering can host events in one of our ballrooms at Overlook Campus, tented outdoors, or our own Renaissance house. The possibilities are endless. Let the culinary team at UMass Catering bring creative menus and exceptional service to your wedding day. Special rates for members of the UMass family and alumni. Hi, I'm Steve DeMarco. Wherever your destination, 
Premier is your solution. Our reputation as an industry leader is built on service, safety, and the guaranteed best price. At Premier, safety stands above all else. Our fleet is serviced on site by our certified technicians. Premier will customize your travel needs all within your budget, and we can even accommodate your travel requirements worldwide. Premier Corporate has your business needs covered. Rest assured, your team and clients will arrive safely, comfortably, and always on time. Premier, an extraordinary experience, guaranteed. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. Welcome back. It's time for Mohegan Sun Instant Replay. Since being hired last month as UMass football's head coach, Mark Whipple has taken to the community to rally support for his program among the fan and alumni bases. And in this fall, we got two home games at Gillette against Boston College, and then we'll be back here in McGurk for three games. And we don't lose in McGurk. And we don't lose in Mullins. Get behind them. Best of luck. This is belated, but congratulations are in order to UMass Hockey senior forward Michael Pereira, who with a pair of scores at Merrimack last month, joined the 50 goal and 100 point benchmarks for his career. Pereira is just the fifth player in program history to reach those milestones. And this highlight reel goal in the second period was later named NCAA Hockey's number two play of the week. Again, congrats to Mike on an accomplishment that caps a standout career. The hockey team finishes out its regular season with a home and home against nationally ranked Providence on the 21st and 22nd of the month. They're looking to build some momentum moving into the Hockey East tournament. Well, here at Snowy Garber Field, the UMass men's lacrosse team has consistently been one of the top teams in New England for decades. This year, Coach Greg Canella brings a young but talented squad into what should be a wide open CAA race. With a look at the team, here's Cody Cruchel. Coming off a 15-1 campaign and a CAA title in 2012, expectations were sky high for the UMass men's lacrosse team entering last season. That squad battled through injuries and inconsistency and finished below 500 for the first time in five years. This season, UMass has picked fourth out of six teams in the CAA, and for the Minutemen, it's all about embracing that underdog role. It makes us work a little harder um, towards our goal, a little bit of chip, chip on our shoulder and, you know, kind of strive for that goal at the end of the season. Kyle Smith working an X out in front, and he goes top shelf and it's a one goal game. The most pressing matter is trying to fill the shoes of Will Manny and Kyle Smith, who combined to score 121 goals over the past two seasons. You lean on those guys so much as juniors and seniors, you know, the Wills and the Kyles that, uh, uh, it, it, you're never really sure where it's going to come from, and hopefully, uh, you know, guys like Whiteway and Mooney can can kind of step up and and help us in that in that sense on the offensive end. In addition to Grant Whiteway and Connor Mooney, the team's leading returning scorers from a season ago, there's a strong foundation in place. All conference pick Joe Cavella was the top faceoff man in the CAA, and redshirt sophomore goalie Zach Oliveri was solid in his first season starting between the pipes, finishing 16th in the nation in save percentage. We're not going to be really focused on one or two guys in the offense. I think we've been doing a good job so far of spreading the ball out. Kind of everyone playing, playing for each other, not so much uh, centered around a certain player. Our coach always says, you know, competition breeds hard work. And the guys have been working really hard to fill those spots in. And um, I think they've been doing a great job. And I'm real confident in the guys in front of me. 25 of the 37 players on head coach Greg Canella's roster are underclassmen. And several members of a talented recruiting class led by attackman Nick Mariano should battle for time early on. These younger guys... Uh, some of their games in high school probably weren't as intense as our practices are, so it takes time to get used to uh, the effort that they have to give every day to not only their academics, but out there on the field, uh, on the lacrosse field every day is, is very difficult, so that part of it has been very different. We're a pretty young squad, but it, it's a good thing, I think, for us. Uh, we can play pretty fast the way we want to play, and the young guys have been doing great. They've been really buying into our system, so it's really all we can ask for them at this point. And since preseason favorite Penn State is ineligible for the conference tournament because of its impending move to the newly formed Big Ten next spring, the CAA is wide open. We don't pay attention to, to rankings or anything like that. Uh, underdog's a role that we've always you know, thrived on here at UMass, and I think this is the biggest year we've been underdog, so we're excited for that. For UMass Sports Insider, I'm Cody Cruchel.
Thank you, Cody. The team's home opener will be right here at Garber Field on Saturday the 22nd as they take on an always difficult Harvard Crimson squad. Time for us to break for just a few. Don't you dare go away. On the other side, we'll catch up with a recent Hoops alum and in keeping with the lacrosse theme, go between the lines and show you how in the world you win a lacrosse face-off. Good, because I have no idea how those guys do that. Stay right where you are. The gang always plays double zero just once. And sometimes, absolutely nothing becomes absolutely everything. Among life's millions of moments, some of the very best are made by Mohegan Sun. When it's your time to shine, come see us. Hotel UMass was voted the best hotel in Amherst. Situated on the beautiful University of Massachusetts campus, Hotel UMass is where you stay to be in the heart of it all. With 116 contemporary guest rooms, free wireless internet, room service, 36 meeting rooms, free parking, and in walking distance to downtown Amherst, Hotel UMass has it all. A forward-thinking insurance company with a global network. Providing friendly service with over 2,000 professionals taking care of you and your family. Mafre Commerce Insurance. The first name in insurance for more than one million customers. Focused on taking care of you and your family. Providing freedom from worry everywhere you go. Mafre Commerce Insurance. At Alden Credit Union, our home loans leave room in your budget for some fun. You can get the kitchen you want, have space for a new friend, and still afford a night out with old friends. At this rate, you can have it all. 2.49% APR on all home loans. At this rate, you can get that new car. Low, low rates on auto loans. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries. What's that great old saying about strangers? They're just friends you haven't met yet. Among life's millions of moments, some of the very best are made by Mohegan Sun. When it's your time to shine, come see us. Hey UMass fans, this is Luke Bonner, class of 2009. I'm glad to be back in the Mullen Center and go UMass. Since I left UMass, I played uh, overseas in Hungary for a while and uh, in the D-League as well for the Austin Toros. And I uh, finished out my career, I guess, and uh, played a couple of years in Lithuania. I uh, had, a, had a great you know, time, great career over there, and decided to uh, move back and started up uh, a nonprofit up in New Hampshire, and uh, I'm working full time at a marketing agency. So I'm getting, I'm getting married this summer. Imagine that. So it's a, a lot of life changes, and uh, you know, it's, it's fun to get back here and just, uh, you know, I had the time of my life playing for UMass, and uh, it's, it's great to be able to come back and, and sort of revisit some of those memories. I had a blast uh, playing for DK, even though it was only for one year, and I got injured. But, you know, I really feel like I, I was one of his players and, uh, you know, maintain a strong connection with him and the entire staff. So, you know, I'm really happy to see him doing well, and it doesn't surprise me one bit. Luke Bonner's older brother, Matt, has been a member of the San Antonio Spurs and for the past few years, one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA. Earlier in the show, we introduced you to the UMass men's lacrosse team. One of the key elements to succeeding in that sport is winning at the face-off X. And so for today's Between the Lines, we're bringing in face-off expert Joe Cavello to teach us the tricks of his trade. Here he is. Let's go to Joe, presented by Mafre Commerce Insurance. Hi, I'm Joe Cavello. I'm a senior in the UMass lacrosse team, and today I'll be teaching you how to take a face-off. My job is to go out there, gain possession, do whatever means necessary to win the ball for my team. So it's a specialty position. I'm on the field only for sometimes 30 to 40 seconds, but if they have a good face-off guy like myself, you can make it a make it take it game and I can get extra possessions for my team. The first move I'm gonna teach you guys today is the pinch and pop. This move uh, comes from clamping over the ball and throwing the ball in front of you to create 
a fast break that can ultimately lead to transition, which you can get your team some goals and uh, even uh, get an assist to the attackmen. The first part about uh, the pinch and pop will be the clamp. First thing you have to do is when you're down is get over the ball. Once you're over the ball, you have possession of it and you can't, the other your opponent can't get it. Once I do this, I lift my back hand like such while placing pressure on my right hand. And I then drag it around my opponent to put the ball in front of me like this. The second move I do is called the jam. It's instead of clamping over the ball, I put my stick over the ball like this and it's in this vicinity so the other player can't get it. Once it's like this, I then push the ball back out so a wingman can get it for me and pick up the ground ball. This move is more for the defense and to gain a possession as opposed to starting an offensive fast break. That right there are a couple ways how to take a face off. Come out this year and see us play in Garber Field. Good stuff. Thank you, Joe. Last season, he won 58% of his face-offs, the top percentage in the CAA. Now to introduce our next break, let's send it over to one of the UMass men's basketball players. How you doing? My name is Trey Davis from the basketball team. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and then we're going to find out what my teammates are doing for Valentine's Day. Book your wedding with award-winning UMass Catering. We can host, design, and plan your big event from full breakfast, lunches, to elegant wedding receptions and dinners. UMass Catering can host events in one of our ballrooms at Overlook Campus, Tented Outdoors, or our own Renaissance House. The possibilities are endless. Let the culinary team at UMass Catering bring creative menus and exceptional service to your wedding day. Special rates for members of the UMass family and alumni. At Alden Credit Union, our home loans leave room in your budget for some fun. You can get the kitchen you want, have space for a new friend, and still afford a night out with old friends. At this rate, you can have it all. 2.49% APR on all home loans. At this rate, you can get that new car. Low, low rates on auto loans. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries. What's that great old saying about strangers? They're just friends you haven't met yet. Among life's millions of moments, some of the very best are made by Mohegan Sun. When it's your time to shine, come see us. Hi, I'm Steve DeMarco. Wherever your destination, Premier is your solution. Our reputation as an industry leader is built on service, safety, and the guaranteed best price. At Premier, safety stands above all else. Our fleet is serviced on site by our certified technicians. Premier will customize your travel needs all within your budget, and we can even accommodate your travel requirements worldwide. Premier Corporate has your business needs covered. Rest assured, your team and clients will arrive safely, comfortably, and always on time. Premier, an extraordinary experience, guaranteed. Minutemen take on longtime rival Rhode Island on February 26th. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. Welcome back. We're celebrating Cupid's holiday on this week's Alden Credit Union Lighter Side. 
With the athletes here at UMass having to balance classwork and a heavy practice schedule, we wondered if there's even time for being romantic. So we asked some of them, what's your ideal plan for Valentine's Day? Let's check out the answers. Usually I, I go solo, I've been, been solo most of my life, going on Valentine's Day, maybe hang out with the boys. That's usually how it goes when you're on a hockey team. Ooh, well all I gotta say is whoever my Valentine is is a lucky lady. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I don't even start conceited on that. Start off with some hugs and then maybe, you know, a nice cooked meal in the morning by my teammate. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm the classic guy, you know, originally like dinner and a movie, you know, nothing special, maybe some, uh, some chocolates, flowers, you know, I'm a classy guy. I guess somebody buying me some flowers and some chocolates usually doesn't work out that way. I mean, I can buy my own chocolates, either one, as long as I have some chocolate in there, I'm pretty happy. I can say one thing about Valentine's Day. I think uh, I think it's a trap. No matter what the girls say, they they might say they don't they don't care. I like to go all out on Valentine's Day. One of the one of the days where uh, I actually I, I put in a lot of effort and uh, you know flowers, gifts, whatever the whole shebang. In Australia, are people celebrating it yeah. like they do here? We have it, but it's not that big of a deal. I went to an all girls like private school, and a lot of the girls would send themselves flowers to the school, and they'd pretend it'd be from someone else. So. I guess I could steal that trick. In the middle of a basketball season, does that make love tough? No. Oh, well, I, I personally love Valentine's Day. A lot of people out there don't like it. I personally like it a lot. Hopefully I can be a lot of people's Valentines because a, a lot of girls want basketball players their Valentines, so. <laughs> it's good to be in demand. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yes. You get a lot more intrinsic value out of chocolate because you can enjoy that for a while, right? It usually doesn't last that long. Yeah, I usually try to usually eat it pretty quickly. I had a Valentine. I had a girlfriend last year for the first time for Valentine's Day and uh, she's like, yeah, I don't really care about it, it's not a big deal. And what are you, big teddy bears at heart? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we put on that, that big boy front in the beginning, but you know, when we like a girl, it's walls start coming down, so. <laughs> <laughs> what is it you love about Valentine's Day? Well, I'm the kind of guy who loves love, so I'm a softy on the inside, but you know. Aww. Yeah, so, you know, Valentine's Day is a day dedicated to that, so yeah, why cue not? Cue the violins yeah, here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, Valentine's Day on the softball team? You guys even notice it, or you're probably just practicing somewhere? No, we're usually either traveling or practicing. Usually on the road, probably in Florida or something. So it usually kind of gets overlooked. And come, she cared, huh? Come Valentine's Day, she cared. She was all upset that she was alone and no gift. Meantime, I surprised her by sending a gift in the mail, and she she kind of she kind of uh, jumped the gun and got upset before the gift came. If I'm in town and I'm in person, I go. Look out, out world. Look out world. <laughs> Look out wallet too. I spent a lot of money on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Not good. Can you guys do like self Valentine's like in middle school or, or elementary school? We should like do the old elementary school thing where you make the little mailboxes and everybody does the Valentine's, but I don't know if our coaches would approve of that. <laughs> it's definitely a trap. No matter what the girls say, it's a trap that they, they all care about you it. You better pretend you yeah, care. That's right. So I don't know, maybe try to do something if you got a lucky girl out there. Thank you for sharing. We've got some real romantics here at UMass. Well, that'll do it for our program. Coming up on our next new edition of UMass Sports Insider, it'll be our season finale debuting Saturday, February 22nd, including a feature on men's basketball star Chaz Williams. Until then, I'm Josh Maurer saying thanks for watching and have a great rest of your weekend. UMass Sports Insider. Brought to you by Alden Credit Union. Mafre Commerce Insurance. And Coca-Cola.